What up, cucks? It's your boy, the hater of Pim, this bitch. And uh, I wanted to make a video as I'm still working on my rant mania uh, because, quite honestly, I lost the list of topics. So I gotta, you know, redo it, basically. Find the list of topics again. So if anyone else has anything else they want me to rant about, feel free to put it in the comments or email your boy at IndieWrestlingSucks at gmail.com, motherfucks. But there was one topic that got frequently requested, and without further ado, we're going to talk about it, right? This topic was phrased in the emails uh, that I got in a variety of ways, but it all falls under the same umbrella, umbrella of complete and utter social degeneracy, right? Some people were asking about Adam-22 and my thoughts on that nonsense, right? But uh, I'll just get to it right now, right? We are living in a weird time, my friends, all right? Now, the hater himself is no saint, you know what I mean? I've made my mistakes, I've done dumb shit, so I like to live by the motto and mantra of forgive and let live, cucks. However, there's certain things that are becoming poisonous to our society. And as a member of the world, I feel like it is my duty to discuss these things so we can get a clear idea. Now, there's two main culprits of this. That is pornography and an offshoot of pornography called OnlyFans. I personally believe that OnlyFans is a societal cancer and that it has taken otherwise normal and wholesome women and some men, of course, and turned them into what can best be described as prostitutes. Now, there's two problems with this. Number one, the overall problem of prostitution and pornography. It's not good for society. Hey, if you like to whack your bag, be my guest. I'm not against it. Do what you want. However, the second problem is the bigger issue, in my opinion. We have these young women, you know, some of them are like probably underage, but definitely we got a lot of 18, 19 year olds uh, on these platforms, right? Now, when you're 18 or 19, you are basically retarded, all right? I'll use myself as an example. I am a very educated and obviously a very intelligent man, if I do say so myself. However, when I was 18 and 19, and hell, even when I was 25, it wasn't until like I, I was 30, even now arguably I'm 35, where I started to realize what it is to be a human being, what it is to be a correct man, and what it is to be productive and to be not a parasite and not a leech. 18-year-olds and 19-year-olds do not have this capacity in most cases, you know. The hater will concede that there are some Instagram people, I'm sure, that are very intelligent, they know exactly what they're doing, and they are willing to accept the consequences, which will be lifelong, right? The internet cucks is still very new. A lot of people don't realize this, you know, especially the morons that have been raised with the internet. They think it's just this thing that's always been there. No, motherfucks, as a 35-year-old, I was firmly there when internet started to become a thing. I was very young, but I was there, right? We're still at the inception. So the consequences of the things that you do on the internet have yet to be felt, motherfucks, for the vast majority of you. Now, is it okay to shame someone for doing porn? Yes, of course it is. That's the other problem. There's this weird culture that we have where we prioritize every kind of individualistic, you know, attribute and we glorify it. But that's another video for another time, maybe tomorrow, cuts. But for now, we're talking about the general degeneracy. And at the middle of this circle jerk is a dude named Adam22 and his porn star fiance wife, whatever the fuck she is, Lena the, the Pug or some bullshit like that, right? I don't know these people beyond the fact that they are now, they made a porno that apparently all they do is they make pornos with each other. And now, um, I mean, I've heard of them, I guess. And now she did a porno with some black guy and, you know, everyone's saying that Adam is a cuck. Two things. Number one, let's say it like it is. He's not a cuck. You know, he's a detestable degenerate, perhaps, but he's not a cuck because apparently he's been banging broads left and right. So now that his wife does the same thing, he doesn't really have the standing to kind of say like, well, you know, you, you, you've you made a cuckold out of me, right? Because just the same way she could say, you've made a cuckold dress out of, out of me, right? So these things have to go both ways. And that is another video for another time, right? The Andrew Tate problem, all these dorks, right? These jabrones who have these weird opinions, right? Some of them are good. I mean, some of the things Andrew Tate says are not retarded, but some of them are borderline just, just infantile, like immature things, right? And I'll get to that in another video as well. But in the context of the degeneracy of, of the, and the prevalence of online porn, right? 
we have come to an, an impasse, right? Now women are out there just getting naked for a few dollars, even if it's a lot of money. The point is this, motherfucks, your dignity should never be prostituted in any capacity. If you have ethics, you can look at yourself in the mirror and you can say, I am worth something. If you are a woman whose worth comes, or a man, of course, if your worth comes from your sexuality, right? That, that doesn't mean you're a bad person, of course. But what it means is that your primary contribution to society is your sexuality. And now, some people might be okay with that. But personally, I am someone that is uh, that averts himself from these types of people. Now, you may not know this because the hater is just a character, but this is kind of how I am in real life. And I am a very loyal and a very good person. I'm very reliable, I'm told, right? So it would benefit most people to attract people like me into their lives, right? And people like, I'm sure most of you motherfucks who are listening, right? But the reality is that some of us are gonna be put off by this kind of behavior, right? If you act like a skank, I'm not gonna hate you. I'm not gonna belittle you. I'm not going to abuse you. I'm not going to even make fun of you. However, you will be a skank in my eyes and I will ignore you, right? Now I know you're thinking, oh, hater, who the fuck do you think you are? What are you, some sort of prize? Yes, motherfucks. The hater is a great friend. The hater is a great fiance and husband. The hater is a great everything because the hater is completely aligned with what the hater believes to be correct. Now, do I make mistakes? Yes, but I can proudly say that never in my life have I done something wrong on purpose. I've never done something that I thought was morally bankrupt and I've done it despite knowing that it's morally bankrupt. Maybe I've made a mistake where I'm like, oh, I didn't think this was bad, but it turns out that it was. That's different and that's a big distinction, which might be also good fodder for another video. Now, within the context of using Adam22 and Lena as our, as our subjects of, the, of this discussion, right? The real issue here, there's, it's twofold. Number one, and it's nothing to do with the fact that he's a cut. I mean, that guy's a fucking tool. Like, based on looking at him, I'm like, this guy's just like some weak chin nerd. But it doesn't matter. The point is this, right? Number one, I don't like the racial element of it. The hater loves people of all colors and creeds. So as a result, the fact that they keep talking about how she got like, you know, basically turned out by a BBC. Now, I get it. This is all part of the joke. The, the black porn actor that banked her probably doesn't care. But there is a social stigmatization that comes along with that that nobody really talks about. And that is that black men are not just big penis guys, right? They are multifaceted people. They are not a monolith, just like the rest of us, right? I'm sure there's a lot of black dudes with tiny dicks and there's a lot of Asians with huge 12 inches, right? But that's neither here nor there. The point is the, fetish, the fetishization of this porn actor. And I get it, he's a porn actor. It is what it is. But it is problematic in its own way. Now, I'm not going all liberal on you motherfuckers, but I'm saying that like, wait a second, man, this guy's not just some tool. They talk about him like he's just some guy that they hired to fuck his wife. And that in there lies the problem, right? The commercialization and the transactionality of pornography is where the problem lies, right? If you want to call it what it is, prostitution on film, you'd be my guest, call it what it is. However, motherfuckers, however, let's not just... Put this under the rug and be like, oh, it's okay to fetishize people. And it's okay to basically reduce them or anybody in this, in this discussion into just their sexuality. That's the problem. That's the problem with pornography in general, right? A lot of people, right, when they see someone that's done porn or is a stripper or has done any kind of sex work, they just completely write them off and they're like, oh, this person is just a skank, right? Or this guy is just a porn actor or this guy is this or this guy is that, right? And that's not fair, right? People are people. They are multifaceted. However, you know, you reap what you sow, motherfucks. You reap what you sow, and the haters all about that. So, in summation, the real point to be made here is that we are a degenerate society, right? And it falls into each and every one of us to combat this in a variety of ways. Number one, if you are someone that is paying people in OnlyFans, you are a loser, okay? Someone needs to tell you that. You're not a cuck. You're not an incel. You're not none of this bullshit. You are a loser and you need to go out and grab a football and run around the field a couple of times. Maybe do some push-ups. Maybe go lift some weights. You know what I'm saying? Maybe read some Dostoevsky if you have time or some Aristotle if you really like that philosophy, cucks. But you cannot be a degenerate who just w wakes up, wax off, eats shitty food, then goes to bed and repeats it again. And I know that a lot of people can fall into this pattern because it is an attractive pattern, right? 
The idea of pleasing our basest desires is easy to do for a lot of people. And that's exactly why you shouldn't do it. If it's easy, everyone can do it. And if you do it, you will not find any fulfillment because you are doing what everyone else is doing. You are not establishing any kind of uniqueness or identity. And I get it. Sometimes you want to eat a pizza and whack your bag. And nobody should judge you for that. You go ahead and do it. However, motherfucks, be careful because then you fall into a trap. And this trap is a multi-billion dollar trap where people like Adam22, Lena, and the black porn actor whose name I don't know, thankfully, right? The three of these degenerates are, are there taking money from your pocket, right? So you can watch one man's wife be plowed by another man. And you ask yourself when you watch this, what the fuck am I watching? You know what I'm saying? And that's the problem, motherfucks. You don't want to do this. You don't want to fall into this trap. And now that in this video, I have come to the conclusion, cuckolds, that another video needs to be made along the same lines. Not specifically focusing on the degeneracy, but focusing on a few of the other things that I've mentioned in this video. And with that being said, cuckolds, take care of yourself and fuck your mothers!